Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 16. So now let's go ahead and focus at the denominator. As you can see, we have a x power 3. That means this x repeating itself three times and then we have another linear factors x minus 3. So let's focus on x power 3 first. x power 3 means we are going to have three linear, these three fractions by the way, first. All right. So for x power 3, first we're going to start out with x power 1 and then we're going to go x power 2 all the way to x power 3. And then let's focus on this x minus 3. So we're going to have a one more fraction. So that's going to be x minus 3. Now, on the numerator for the first fraction, we're going to have a constant a for the second, constant b, then c, and finally constant d. And our task is to find the values of a, b, c, and d. Let's focus on this left hand side denominator x power 3 times x minus 3. We are going to multiply this across the board. So I'm going to put down x power 3 times x minus 3. Likewise, x power 3 times x minus 3, x power 3 times x minus 3. We are going to multiply with each and every term. All right. And then x power 3 times x minus 3. So as we can see that this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3, this x power 3 is gone with this x power 3. So we are ended up with x minus 5 on the left hand side equals to, as you can see over here, 1x is gone with x power 3. So we are left with a times, on the top is going to become x power 2 times this is x minus 3 and then next this x power 2 is 2x is gone with this x power 3 so we got only b times 1x and then x minus 3 plus and then next as you can see this x power 3 is gone with this x power 3 so we got c times x minus 3 and finally this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3 so we are left with plus d times x power 3 and i am going to call this big long equation as number 1 and now here is a quick trick. Look for linear factors in the denominator. Let's look at the linear factors on the left hand side in the denominator. We got x as one of the linear factors and the second one is x minus 3. So we got two linear factors. I am going to copy them down over here. I'm going to say x and then I am going to put down the other linear factors x minus 3. Let's set both of them equal to 0. So one of the x value turns out to be 0. And let's set this one equal to 0 as well. So that means x equal to 3 is another x value. Now let's focus on this x equal to 0 value first. And here I wrote down put x equal to 0 in this equation 1. That means wherever x shows up, we have to replace it by 0. So let's go ahead and do this thing on the left hand side. This becomes 0 minus 5 equal to and over here wherever we if this x if we replace this x by 0 that means this whole thing 
is going to become zero all right likewise if i replace this x equal to zero as well so this whole term is going to become zero and likewise once again in this one over here if i replace this one by zero then this whole thing this whole term is going to become zero as well so on the right hand side we got zero plus zero plus c time i'm going to replace x by zero so this becomes zero minus three and then plus zero let's simplify on the left hand side is going to become negative five equal to negative three c that means c turns out to be five over three value and now let's focus on the other x value which is three and here i put down wrote down x put x equal to three in equation one that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by three so let's go ahead and do that one on this equation one the left hand side becomes three minus five equals two let's focus on this one over here when i replace this x by three three minus three becomes zero zero times the whole thing the whole term is going to be zero likewise on this one over here if i replace this x by three minus three is going to give us zero that means this whole term is going to become zero as well and again over here when i replace this x by three minus three means zero zero times this whole term is going to become zero so therefore i am going right down on the right hand side zero plus zero plus zero plus d times we have a three power and then x is three and then power three okay and now this is going to become negative two on the left hand side and here d times three power three is 27 so which gives us d value as negative 2 over 27. So far we have figured out c value and d as well and now we have to find a and b values. So for that reason we have to perform few extra steps and the very first thing what I did is I just copied down equation 1 right up here and let's go ahead and take care of it i'm going to leave x minus 5 on the left hand side which is equal to let's distribute this ax square times this in the parentheses this become ax power 3 minus 3 a x square likewise when we distribute this thing that is going to give us bx square minus 3bx and finally this become when we distribute it becomes cx minus 3c plus dx power 3. Now let's combine the like terms x power 3 first. So I am going to first of all I'm going to leave this x minus 5 on the left hand side equals to here when I look at this x power 3 and x power 3 I can write this one as a plus d times x power 3 likewise when we look at this x square 
and this x square I can write as plus negative 3a plus b times x square. We have to be very careful and now we are going to take care of this x and this x and we can write this thing plus and then negative 3b plus c times x and then our constant is negative 3c and now in our this next step we are going to equate or sometimes we call it compare the coefficients on both sides first of all in this equation we see that x power 3 and x power 2 is missing on the left hand side so i can write as 0x power 3 plus 0x square plus x so let's go ahead and compare the x power 3 first so on the left hand side the coefficient of x power 3 is 0 and the right hand side is a plus d I am going to equate them so I got 0 equals to a plus d and now let's equate x power 2 on the left hand side the coefficient of x power 2 is 0 and on the right hand side is negative 3a plus b so I can write 0 equal to negative 3a plus b and likewise on the left hand side the coefficient of x is 1 and on this side the coefficient of x is negative 3b plus c let's go equate those one so that is equal to 1 equals to negative 3b plus c and finally for the constant on the left hand side is negative 5 and the constant on the right hand side is negative 3c i am going to equate them as well so i can write negative 5 equals to negative 3c and now in this first equation 0 equals to a plus d that is going to give us a equals to negative d and we know that d is negative 20 which is negative 2 over 27 that means a turns out to be simply 2 over 27 and over here same thing we are going to do here this b could be written as 3a when a negative 3 goes on the other side become positive 3a and we know we just figured out a equals to 2 over 27 so 3 times 2 over 27 when we reduce it that is going to give us 2 over 9 that means our b value turns out to be 2 over 9 and since we already figured out now a b c and d so we do not need these next two equations for x and the constant so thus our a value turns out to be a 2 over 27, b is 2 over 9, c is 5 over 3 and d is negative 2 over 27. So in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a I am going to replace it by 2 over 27, b for 2 over 9, c for 5 over 3 and d for negative 2 over 27 and thus you can see the constant values on the numerator for a b c and d and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye